Got a cross. Swim to the edge. Uh, grab on to something. All right, try.
I must be suffering from experience. Suffer a little longer. Hey there, mister. The hell? Oh. Uh, you do seem to keep blacking out. Is it necessary? I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Oh, damn it. What the hell do you think you're doing? Get up now. We don't understand you more and next. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? Yeah. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Hey, any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offering? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Please, remember what I told you. Well, then. I don't seem to recall hearing yeah, mention of that myself. Here press one of the machines. Hunt continues for Cornwall train robbers. All right, stranger. Want to buy a paper? Thanks. Make sure you come back tomorrow. I ain't playing around. Get your news here, Valentine. Let's go, girl.
You pay up or we keep up. What's wrong with you? What's your damn problem? Must be tough, looking like you. Did your face get swapped for your ass at birth? You know what? I'm just gonna take the high road and just walk away. Your wife must have to close her oh, eyes real learned. tight. Get the hell away from me! This is bad. What are you looking at, idiot? Hope that wasn't directed toward me, friend. Shut up! The hell is wrong? Do you need something? For. I don't like you. What's the matter with you? Okay. I'm gonna need that horse. Get the hell away from me! Yeah, get out of here! This ain't happening. Stepping in there. Those bastards have been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. Stay out of trouble. I'll try. Well, I'm sure you got things to do. We're lucky to be a lot. Again? Are you serious?
Again? Are you serious? You thieving bastard! Wish Pod teach us to shoot instead of building this stupid house. I don't know what you fools are playing at here. It's like being in a chain gang, but your pa's the prison warden. Help! Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? You, uh, uh... Whatever do you want? <laughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... <gasps> really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, 
I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please. Drowse told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. Pay the money. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. Be reasonable. <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. found the O'Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of Cone. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that Karen? He's all right now. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Vacation, Marston. 
I could say the same about you. Take it easy. I ain't serious. You're a strange man, Morgan. Sitting around, getting waited on hand and foot. What's your problem? Okay, okay. I really am done now. Yeah, a regular comedian. All right for some. How I'm pretending you? you ain't there. Everyone is mean. Oh, dear. So, what's for dinner? Dysentery again? Hey, there's no need for that. I'm only kidding around. Yeah, uh, very good. No chance of getting fat around here. Why are you being an idiot? Sorry. I'll stop messing with you now. None of that. Come on now. At least it smells better coming out than it does going in. You know what? I'm ignoring you now. We've done that before. <laughs> Wipe that snooty look off your face for one minute, will you? Are you going to berate everyone in camp? Take it easy. I'm just needling you. That's oh, enough, okay. Morgan. Um, all right, then. You're a vagrant. Not an accountant. Why won't you leave me alone? I swear, you must have calluses from patting your own back. Stay away from me! We could all do without the way you're acting. You're wasting your time pining after John. My turn, I guess. I'm only joking with you. Now ain't the time to be joking. He only looks out for one person. Hey! What's the point? That's Miss? enough! Good there, Pearson. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Are you well? Doing well. Excellent. You never learn, do you? One night when I was so, a feller in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay, though. I dealt with it. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobster. My watch from my fob was Pixar. I never get drunk anymore. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, when I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and... I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. 
I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. An old grump, he can certainly cook. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Boy. Hmm? Thank you for saving my life. But yeah, of course. Sorry you got hit, but they did warn you. The old you would have had this place ship shape in a day. I don't like that tone, Arthur. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan, it really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. <laughs> Lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. you strong now, my brother. I should have broken your neck long ago. Well, ain't that charming. You revolting old bastard. Have you taken a look in the mirror recently? Don't give me a reason. I ain't even gonna rise to this.
Come on, girl. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an Adrisco saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning. Right, down you go! I can Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. 
Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Won't take long. Yeah, good girl. Let's go, girl.
You're okay, girl. Just wait a second, girl. you up when he had a chance. Stay back or you'll be sorry. this thing? <laughs> hey, friend. Why you carrying me, huh? Hey, friend. You do me a kindness and untie me. Jesus, thank you. They had me mixed up with my brother. I heard about a moonshine operation going on under the Strawberry General store. Might be worth checking out.
ago, the great Cholonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahasi into the wilderness. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Um, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Um. Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Chilonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! Please, 
Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. 